Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd Python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about filters. So, filters give us an easy way to take a collection and filter out some of the values based on a function result and this gives us a new filter collection. So what do I mean by this? Well, imagine you had a conveyor belt and you also had a list of numbers and you put this list of numbers, all the numbers within it, on this conveyor belt. And on this conveyor belt, these individual items, these numbers, they run through a function. And this function performs some kind of test on each item, on each number in this list. And if this test returns true, then that number is going to remain in the filtered list. If that test on the number returns false, then it's going to get that number and discard it. It's going to filter it out and it won't remain in the filtered list. So in essence, we're filtering numbers out of this original list into the new filtered list. Make sense? Cool, let's go through an example. So what I'm gonna do is set up a list of grades. And let's say I got an A and I also got a B and I also got an F, oh dear. And I got a C and something else and then I got another F and maybe, I don't know, another A. Okay, so I've got these grades now. Now, really, I don't want to be showing my F's to my parents or my friends. I want to filter these F's out of these grades, right? I want to tamper with them and make them look better than they actually are. So the way we're going to do this is by using the filter method. And filter is very similar in its setup to map in that we have the filter method and then we have some kind of testing function, right? Which tests each individual item and then the grades themselves, the list, right? So each one of the items in the grades list is passed through this testing function. And this testing function is gonna return true or false for every grade that's passed through it. And if the grade passes the test and it returns true, then that's gonna stay in the new filtered list. If it doesn't pass the test and it returns false, this function, then it's gonna be filtered out of the list. So obviously I wanna return true for everything except F and I want to return false for F so it gets filtered out. So let's then define this function, this filter function. So we'll say def and it's going to be called remove underscore fails. So each time around we're passing the grade in. So we want to return true or false. Now we want to return true if it's not an F. Makes sense? And false if it is an F. So we're going to say return and then we're going to say grade is not equal to F, all right? So this means that it's not equal to. So if grade is A, for example, grade is not equal to F, this whole statement will return true because that's right. A is not equal to F. Same for B, same for C, etc. But if this grade is F, then F not equal to F is false because F is equal to F. So then this is gonna return false and it's gonna return false right here. Therefore, F will get filtered out, but everything else is gonna remain. Make sense? So now we need to pass this testing function, which is called remove fails into this filter. So let's paste it right in there. And then also we need to typecast this into a list. So first of all, I'll print it as is and show you. So I'm gonna print the result of this, save it, and I'm gonna run Python. And then this is called filters py and you can see we get a filter object back now we want a list we want a new list not a filter object so i'm going to typecast this into a list and surround the whole filter method with parentheses save that run this file again and now we get that new list with the f's filtered out pretty cool right so there are other ways of doing this we don't have to use this uh, filter method right here. So I am going to show you as normal the way to do it using a for loop and also how to do it using comprehension. So using a for loop, first of all, we're going to create a new uh, list called filtered underscore grades. Now that's going to be equal to this empty list at the minute. Okay, now we need to loop through the original grades. So I'm going to use this for loop. So I'll say for grade in grades. And then in here, I'm going to check if the grade is not equal to F again. So I'll say if grade is not equal to F. So for example, if it's A or B or C, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to append 
whatever grade we're on to the filter grades. So I'll say filtered, not in capitals, filtered underscore grades dot append, and then whatever grade we're currently iterating through. So that is going to append this to this thing right here. But if it is F, then it's not going to append it. Make sense? Cool. So now let's just print filter grades to see if this works. Okay, save that and run the file. And still it works. But I think you'll agree that this right here is a lot easier to write, takes up less lines of code than all of this right here. So that's how we do it using a for loop anyway. I'm also going to show you how to do it using a comprehension. So let's just comment all that junk out and use a comprehension. Again, I'm going to print the result of this and then inside we have our comprehension. So how is this going to work? Well, first of all, we want to output the grade, right? That's what we're outputting each time around. That's the first thing we do in a comprehension. Then we say what we're cycling through and it's going to be for grade in grades. And also we want to attach an if statement at the end because if grade is not equal to F, that's when we add it in, right? So we'll say if grade is not equal to F. So we're only adding the grade in when this thing is true. So when grade is not equal to F. Make sense? And by the way, if you need a refresh on these, it's about three tutorials back. Just go and check it out. This is comprehension. So let's run this again. And you see we get exactly the same result. So all of these three things do pretty much the same thing. But I quite like this filter method because, again, it's not many characters and it's just easy to use.